Hello, I'm Chris Sherwood, Product Manager for the Sims Performance Suite. Sims Discover is one of my products and I'm just now going to take a few minutes to show you how to create a grades tracking progress graph and this can show uh, progress across your aspects over time. Let's take a look. Okay, I've opened Sims, this is the home page. Before I show you how to create the graph, I just want to show you what we're working towards. So if I go to Discover, I already have an English tracking graph. So bring that one out. What this graph does is take your grade aspect and averages it over time. Now in this case we're doing it across key stage 4, year 10 to 11, but you could do it any key stage, any year group. The advantage is it can be filtered by any other graph. Now this is just uh, training data, so there's probably not going to be a, a, an issue. But if there was in your school, you'd be able to see it just by moving any other subgroup onto that graph. So that's the English graph. Uh, which is similar to what we're going to do. If we go back into Sims and if I open the maths tracking mark sheet, I've favorited it, so it's there. This is showing progress over time. So we've got the key stage four maths is the aspect and the result sets year 10 through to year 11. So I've just taken a note of that. So you need to remember which aspect and which result sets so that you choose them in the admin utility. So if we go to the admin utility now, and click on Managing Assessment Graphs, Grades Tracking Progress. Um, click Next. It takes you through a wizard now where it asks you certain questions. So we want it by year group. And now in this case we're doing year 11, but as I said it could be for any year group. It then says choose the aspect. So if I just type in KS4 just to minimize the search and click Maths. Select that one, click Next. Then the result sets. So if again, if I narrow it down by typing year and move down. So year 10, I'm holding Control down, autumn, spring, summer, year 11, autumn, spring. summer, select those, click next, choose line graph, next, give it a name, I'll call this KS4 Maths Year 11, I'll have that as the description as well, confirm and that's done. So the only thing to do now to get that to appear in Discover is to go to Managing Transfer and start a data transfer. Click Current Year, click Next. And that will take a few minutes just to transfer that graph across to Discover and bring the actual data across from Sims for that graph. OK, so I've refreshed the status. We can see now that transfers succeeded. So we can go back into Sims, open Discover, and Discover opens. And now if we look at the assessment drop down, that new graph should be there. And at the bottom, Key Stage 4 Maths. And if we drag that out, we've now got the assessment progress for Key Stage 4 Maths. I hope you found that useful. To keep up to date with our DigiNo videos, please make sure that you sign up to our Achieve newsletter, which you can do on our website. Thank you.